What is up everybody, this is I Customize, and today I'm bringing you guys the After Effects and Total Media Extreme tutorial. And this tutorial is for if you're trying to edit in After Effects, and you go right here to open your raw capture file, and it gives you this error. Trust me, it's not damaged, it's just After Effects will not support your file and open it. So, this is what you're going to want to do to fix that problem. First, what you're going to want to do is download QuickTime and I'll put a link in the description <clears throat> for that so after you do that just install it download it and all that and then now you go to your capture module on your HD PVR and the the file see look I'll show you this is the one I tried to open and it won't support it the M2TS so you want sorry about that you want to avoid the TS and the M2TS just go to mp4 then you're gonna want to go to format settings then copy down these settings and after you do that just hit apply and ok now that you do that just do your normal capturing and all that then when you go to after effects you choose the MP4 one, not the other one. See, it's this one right here because it has the QuickTime emblem right there. And just open it, and you won't have any problems. Just go down and do your normal editing and all that. And I'll show you the end product. See, I'll go to videos, and this is what it will look like after you render it out and you know do your normal editing and all that so see right there it just looks weird because there's a color correction this is my daytage see it might look laggy because I'm recording it on the screen but trust me it's smooth as can be and it's awesome so again download QuickTime do the settings I did on the Total Media Extreme and you should be good to go. Um, oh yeah, and another problem is you guys are probably gonna want to preview it, you know, on your desktop, your raw file that you captured. Well, it's gonna it's gonna show it like this on the QuickTime. Here, let it open. See, it's just showing this half. But the, I don't know why it does that. It just does. So, but when you put it in After Effects, it'll be the full video. So. Yeah guys, that was my tutorial on how to fix your unsupported file in After Effects. So if this helped you, please drop a like and favorite the video if you will. And you should subscribe. <laughs> it's free and I'll be showing you guys my render settings in a future video. So yeah guys, thanks. Later.